How's it going guys? This is Bailey, this is Rogers Performance Marine. Uh, we just finally got in our brand new 2021 Lund uh, 2025 Impact XS. Uh, we started the rigging process, we've got the fish finders mounted, the trolling motor mounted, uh, getting everything so we can get this boat to the lake and start using it. Uh, we're waiting for our 99 uh, EFI kicker to come off back order so we can complete the rigging process. Uh, in the meantime, I wanted to walk you through the cockpit, the bow, show you what we've installed so far, and show you a few features that make this such a great boat in one. So let's get inside and kind of give you a quick walkthrough. All right, so in this boat, I did want to start up in the bow. Uh, reason being, I really think this is probably one of the things that sets this boat uh, apart from like the crossover and the tie. I mean, as you can see in the video, the bow is huge. Uh, you can have two, three guys fishing from the bow. If you're using the boat to recreate, uh, go cruising, wakeboarding, skiing for the day, and you need a place to lay out using the bow cushion set. I mean, easily you can have three full-size adults laying out in here. There's just a ton of room in here, and it really doesn't get talked enough in the crossover. I mean, they used every bit of space for either storage or fishability. Um, moving up further in the bow, as I mentioned earlier, we've got the main coat of Taroba. This is a 24 volt system, 80 pound thrust, 60 inch shaft. It's got the mega down imaging transducer in the foot. Uh, it's also got iPilot with link capabilities. Uh, so we do have this linked uh, using an ethernet hub box. Um, it's linked to both Helix 9 units, one on the bow, one on the console. This Helix 9 that's up here on the bow, this is a mega down imaging unit only. It does not offer side imaging. Um, we still have a little bit of wires to clean up here, but I do want to show you uh, how we actually mounted this. So we used a Lund angled sport track bracket with a ram mount. The nice thing about that is there's no holes drilled in the boat. If you want to remove the fish finder uh, to, worry, you know, to worry about theft or anything like that, it gets out of the way easy. You know, if you want to take it off for one day when you're just out skiing, put it back on the next day when you're out fishing with the guys, it's easy to do. You can slide it up and down the track system. We left a little bit of extra uh, cable for the transducer and power and ethernet. So it does have some adjustability. Um, you could probably even move it to the other side with enough slack that we left in on it. Um, another cool option in all the impacts, I believe you can get in the crossovers as well, that you know, if you're getting an impact, just go ahead and get this option, which is the bow cargo nets. Um, this is perfect for like your quick pick items. You know, I've got the uh, screen for the Helix 9 in there right now. It's perfect for life jackets, towels, uh, plano boxes, anything like that. That you know, the items that you're constantly grabbing, that way you don't have to dig through storage every time you're getting into them. So we've got it on both port and starboard side, definitely a must have. Um, a few other features in the impact, we ordered this one with the upgraded Rockford Bosby stereo system. So it's got two extra speakers in the bow, um, so you get audio from bow to stern in this one. Um, one other thing with the 2025 impact that you don't get in the 18 or the 17 impact is this uh, storage compartment right here on the port side in front of the console. So this goes under the glove box, gives you some more storage. Um, this would just be a wasted uh, area of space in any other boat, but uh, Lund does a really good job of utilizing all the space and they you know, give you a little bit of extra storage there. Again, in the impact, you do have bow storage as well as your second live well. So it does have an aerated live well in the bow as well as one back in the uh, transom area of the boat. Uh, we'll move back further and show you a little bit of that as well. All right, we're gonna do the uh, cockpit of this boat in uh, two different segments just to show you everything that's offered in the cockpit of the 2025 Impact. Um, so starting over at the driver's seat, uh, we've got the new captain's chairs, or the new suspension chairs in this boat. I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, we've got full um, tilt steering wheel here so you can adjust that with a seat so that way you're sitting in here as, you know, as comfortable as possible. Again, we've got the Helix 9 uh, mega side imaging on the console. Nice thing about the way Lund designed this console is there's really no need for a ram mount on there. We're able to through bolt this right to the dash. That way it's sturdy. It's not gonna sit and bounce everywhere while you're going down to the leg. And there's still plenty of room. Like I can run my hand behind it. It's not touching the windshield. They did a great job with that. I think you can fit up to a 10 without having to do any sort of external mounts. Um, one thing I like to talk about on this impact, how we ordered it, is the uh, SmartCraft gauge. That's an option a lot of our customers, you know, they talk about, they toy with the idea, but they don't really value it until they've actually got, got it on their boat and got to experience it. It's, a, it's an option you've got to have. Um, so I'm going to go to the main screen on this really quick. Oops, I just skipped past that. Um, let's see here. So this is like what I like to call the main screen. So right here, it's telling us, hey, our battery is good, our temperature is good, our PSI is good. Um, you know, major checks for the boat owner. They know right away, hey, it's good to go. I'm ready to get boating. And if you want to get more specific, you can click the mode button, go through, you know, see your fuel level, where it's at, 
fuel PSI, temperature, oil pressure, uh, engine hours, battery voltage, trim level, I mean, so on and so forth. It gives you all the information as a boater that you should know. Um, one thing I do want to show that's new for 2021 that I already mentioned in the video is the new suspension chairs. So these look like the 2019 or 2020 model uh, captain's chairs that we're all used to. Uh, they've now added the suspension portion to it um, and that mainly pertains here on this dial. So this goes on a level from 100 pounds all the way up to 285 pounds, uh, but it just allows you to fine tune how smooth this ride is. So you know, I weigh about 150 pounds, that's where I've got it set right now. Um, it offers a nice shock. I don't bottom out, but it's smooth, like what you'd experience with a pro ride, just on another level. Um, if I want it to be a little more stiff, I go clockwise with it, or if I weigh a little bit more, go clockwise with it, stiffens it up. Uh, if you go counterclockwise with it, obviously it does the exact opposite and allows it to flex a little bit more. Uh, but this, you know, the impact already rides really, really smooth with the IPS haul it's got. This just makes it even better. A couple other things I want to show you um, on the front side of the cockpit is the huge rod locker that you got in there I and mean, the rod locker is massive you're not tangling reels you know fishing line shouldn't get caught together uh, you see the four bank charger or excuse me three bank charger that's put in it um, it's easily accessible for any reason you need to get to it um, but the rod storage is huge in this boat it can needs to be talked about I mean Lund did a great job making sure all your tackle can fit and all your rod can fit another nice thing with this is you got removable plate here to access your batteries. Uh, like I say, it's already got the three bank battery charger on board, but if for any reason you need to pull the batteries out for the winter or service the batteries, it's easy to get to. There's plenty of room to swap out batteries. Just great access. Last thing I want to touch on is the uh, glove box and under console drawers. We've got the under console drawers on both port and starboard side. Uh, it's got Lund offers a nice deep lockable glove box. You can keep all your valuables in there and get it locked up. And then the under console drawers. These are an option I, I want in every single boat. So great for plano box storage or any storage for that matter. You can lock them so your valuables can be safe in there. Great storage option you got to have. If your legs aren't too long and aren't going to hit them, definitely get them in your boat. Now we're gonna walk to the back of the boat and finish up and get this thing to the lake. All right, the last part of the boat on the inside I wanna go over is the transom seating area. Um, so this being one of the XS models, you do have the rear flip up seats. That's often confused, especially when we're talking about the 17 and 18 foot impacts. They have the 18, 17 Sport, and they've got the 18, 17 XS. The XS is what you're looking at right here. It's the extra seating, that's what it stands for. Um, so if you want a large casting platform, flip the seats down, you got a uh, platform you can walk all the way across in the back and on port and starboard side. That's probably one of my favorite things about this boat comparing it to the crossover. The crossover has such a nice wide gunnel, but it does get rid of a, a little bit of the cockpit space you have in here, and you're not really wanting to stand on it like you'd stand on this firm surface that's carpeted. Um, they did a great job with it, making and utilizing every spot of this boat for a usable fishing your storage surface. Going back to the seats, underneath them on the port side, or excuse me, on the starboard side, you do have the battery. Port side, you've got some more storage. I mentioned earlier in the video, you do have two live wells in the impact. That's another thing that separates the impact from the crossover is you get a live well in the back as well as one up in the bow. Fully aerated, does have an LED light in it as well to keep it lit up for you night fishermen. Uh, we ordered this one with the ski tow bar. You know, by the time we put the 200 Pro XS on there and all the convenience options we had in it, you might as well get set up with the ski tow package too. The guys that buy the impact, they're generally fishing 75% of the time, but the other 25% of the time, they may be towing their kids or wife on a ski or a wakeboard. Um, so you got to have that set up. It does store away on the port side as well, no problem. Last thing on the back of the boat is going to be the sport top hider. Open that in there. Um, this option right here makes it to where you don't have to leave the bimini top at home for days you think you might not be using it. You can stow it away here. Uh, if the weather gets bad, you need to put up the full enclosure, you've got it with you. Or if it just gets a little too sunny, you can put up the, um, the front part of the sport top and it's always there with you. But when you're not using it, it's out of the way. Now we're going to climb out and go over the motor and we'll have this thing ready to go. All right, last part of the boat I want to go over for you before we take this boat down to the lake is the engine package we chose on this. Uh, so this is the Mercury 200 horsepower Pro XS with DTS. So it's a fuel injected four stroke. It's the best performing 200 horsepower motor uh, that Mercury does offer. This is the V8. And then the DTS eliminates any shift or throttle cables. This is all electronic shift. So it's super smooth when you're giving it gas, when you're engaging it into gear in reverse. Very, very nice system just to complement a very well put together boat. Uh, we've got this equipped with a 19-pitch stainless steel three-blade prop. 
Uh, at our altitude here, we're about 3,000 feet. If you're lower than us, you might look at something like a 21. If you're up on those mountain lakes, you're over 6,000 feet, you might entertain something like a 17 pitch. Um, we are gonna run this down to lake, see what it'll do with this engine set up and the weight in the boat. We're hoping to get right around 6,200 RPM. Uh, our speed we're targeting is gonna be 48 to 51-ish miles an hour. Uh, if we can get those sort of uh, results, we'll be happy with the way this is set up and ready to go. Um, but yeah, now we're, Getting ready to head to the lake.